Hi everyone, I Shurujit welcome you all on Econometrics the channel. आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सेवन का मैथमेटिक्स तो बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास नाउ टूडे क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट वी विल अगेन कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर वन इन टीचर्स बट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डूइंग द वर्कआउट क्वेश्चन ओके द लास्ट पार्ट इज द वर्कआउट क्वेश्चन एंड टूडेज पार्ट इज पार्ट सिक्सटीन ओके एंड आई विल रिक्वेस्ट द न्यू स्टूडेंट्स और दोज हुव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज to watch it okay previous parts you must watch so that you can understand the workout portion okay i have given the link at the end of the video okay as well as you can go to the playlist and check it out clear no because the previous part by part if you don't watch then you cannot understand this part okay maybe you can uh, see the answers but how it is happening how we are going to solve it that thing you cannot understand okay so let us start the workout portion so in the workout portion what it is the first question choose the correct option so this is the question choose the correct option and you know my students that choose the correct option in short we will say mcq actually it is mcq okay so question is given as well as the answers are given options are given now you have to find out the correct one clear no so now let us see the first question question number a if odd number of negative integers so if odd number of negative integers so you have to take one odd number okay so let us take one odd number odd number suppose if i take the number 3 3 is an odd number okay 1 3 5 7 these are odd number but it is telling odd number of negative integer you have to take negative so let us take minus 3 clear so one number we took what minus 3 are multiplied that means you are multiplying it okay got it with any number with any number you are multiplying okay but the number should be of positive integer so any number of positive integer okay positive integer okay 1 2 3 that means plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay suppose let us take 2 okay any number they told they have not mentioned that it should be odd or even nothing any number but it should be positive okay so when you are multiplying okay the resulting product so when you multiply obviously you will get the product so let us see 3 2 just 6 and now minus is there so minus 6 so re the resulting product will be positive negative cannot say none of this so none of this will be not okay cannot say also you can say it okay negative yes negative see minus 6 is the answer so the answer is which one negative so how you will write the answer answer and this is question number 1 and which option okay question number 1 a and which option is here roman 1 roman 2 roman 3 roman 4 roman 2 so you will write roman 2 and what is the answer negative so this is the exact way of writing question number 1 question number 1 a option roman 2 and the answer is negative clear now we will come to the second one question number b a plus then within bracket b plus c equal to a plus b this is in bracket then plus c represents dash property of addition of integers that means here the integers are a b c here also a b c but only the grouping is changed here b plus c is in one group 
and here a plus b is in one group okay so which property of addition it is okay so is it number one roman one closer roman two commutative roman three associative roman four identity already i have taught you okay that the properties of multiplication okay addition multiplication okay in addition portion i have taught you the properties so you can check it out and what it is looking like this way when i taught you x plus y plus z equal to x plus y plus z okay so like this the property it is okay so this property and that one both are matching so it is matching with which one associative property so the answer will be what answer one and this is number b and roman three and what is the answer associative property clear no? so we got question number a one that is a number one a b we have completed okay now we will move on to the next sum now students let us see what they have asked in question number one c m into n minus p equal to m into n minus m into p represents dash property over subtraction now if you see nicely m into within this bracket when you open it this m is multiplying with n and this m is again multiplying with p that means m into n then minus then m into p clear so represents which one we have already done the properties of multiplication over subtraction and where it is over subtra uh, subtraction it is in the distributive property okay that is roman 4 so the answer will be answer number 1 c and what is the option roman 4 and it is what distributive okay distributive property over subtraction clear no because here subtraction sign is there if it was plus sign then here also it will be plus that time it will be what distributive property over addition clear no now so i think question number c you have understood now question number d now question number d x divided by y divided by z not equal to x divided by y divided by z okay so here you can see x y z is here also x y z is also here okay but the groupings are changed and here is divide sign if it was addition or subtraction okay but here it is division okay so for addition for subtraction so what you did in which property it was in associative property but for division when it is division then the associative property of division does not hold true okay that means we cannot use the associative property okay but here one change is there unless z okay unless z this part you see unless z so that's why not equal to sign because associative property of division does not hold true so that's why it is not equal to sign unless z so what does that mean so this question is very important to understand unless z equal to 1 roman to 10 minus 1 and then 2 that means if z is if the value of z is 1 then whether it is true or no if the value of z is 10 whether it is true or no whether the value of z if it is minus 1 whether it is true or no or if the value of z is 2 whether it is true or no so that we have to see so let us do one rough okay so x divided by y divided by z okay and another one is what x divided by y divided by z 
so this is the thing and there was not equal to psi okay so i am not writing the not equal to psi so now i will put the values x divided by y okay divided by 1 clear then again x divided by now here y divided by 1 so x divided by y you can write like this okay now divided by next is divided by so divided by 1 okay divided by 1 we can write like this way and then downside 1 nothing so we can write x divided by y now here you can see here x divided by now y divided by 1 will be what y only so you can see ultimately here this one and here this one both are coming same same only so we can say this one and this one they are equal so the option is what roman one so how we will write the answer answer d okay answer one option d okay and under d question number d which option option number one roman one and the answer is what one clear if you take the value of z as one then it will hold true that is the thing okay first it is telling it is it does not hold true that's why not equal to sign but if you take the value of z as one then this one will be not equal to it will change into equal to that means it will hold true that means it is correct okay so that's why the answer will be answer one question number d roman one and the value of z has to be one okay by taking the first only we are getting it okay but if we don't get then we have to take the second one and try if we don't get we have to see the third one and try okay and then if you don't get then obviously the fourth one will be the answer clear or no so like this way you have to do the mcq clear so i think c and d you have understood nicely now students those who are new in my channel i would like to request you that if you like this channel if you like this video to please give a like share this video more and more with your friends and your classmates and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe it really motivates me to make more and more uh, videos interesting videos for you all and don't forget to press the all notification bell because whenever i will upload new videos you will definitely and you will get the information okay in your phone only okay now we will move on to the next sound now class 7 students let us see question number 1e the sum of absolute value of 2 plus 3 then plus then minus 5 is okay so you have to find out the sum if you add this one then what will be the answer so for that let us do rough work okay so let us write this one absolute value of 2 plus 3 we have done absolute value am i right then minus 5 so 2 plus 3 comes what 5 then plus minus if i open the bracket minus 5 okay now from the absolute value this is positive obviously positive will come out if it was minus 5 also then also positive will come out and now you can see 5 minus 5 that is 0 clear so we got the answer matching with which one roman 3 yes or no so answer 1 and this is question number e and the option is roman 3 and what is the answer 0 okay now we will do question number f 1 f the value of x such that x plus minus 29 equal to 0. So, you have to find out the value of x. So, what we will write x plus minus 29 equal to 0. Now, x plus minus minus 29, okay, equal to 0. Now, x 
equal to now this minus 29 if it goes to that side okay from left hand side it is going to right hand side which one the minus 29 so the sign will change so minus 29 will become plus 29 so it is matching with which one option number roman 4 so answer 1 question number f option number 4 roman 4 and the answer is 29 okay now students if you have any doubt okay any doubt from this chapter you can go to the comment section and you can tell me your doubts so that i can solve all doubts okay all the doubts i can solve okay so don't hesitate you can go to the comment section and please comment okay now let us do question number g 1g so what it is telling 10 into 47 into 50 equal to which one this roman 1 roman 2 roman 3 roman 4 okay so what we have to multiply these integers so if i do it here 10 into 47 into 50 so you can make it a group okay so these two you can make it together understanding or no or this one and the last one also you can make it together so if you make it together then 10 into 47 is will be what 470 into 50 and then you to multiply these two so two zeros are there so first one you will write two zeros and then five sevens are 35 how much carry three carry so five fours are 20 plus three 23 clear so you are getting the answer 23500 so matching with roman 3 so answer 1 g and the option is roman 3 and what it is 23500 clear now the last mcq that is 1 h the predecessor of minus 7 is so predecessor you have to find out so how we will find out predecessor if you remembered when i taught you the number line suppose here it is 0 then minus because minus 7 so we will go this side so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 suppose so they are telling talking about minus 7 minus 7 is where here and predecessor means the before minus 7 that means you have to go smaller than predecessor means smaller than minus 7 okay smaller than minus 7 so smaller than minus 7 is what minus 8 so this is the answer clear or no so answer will be what if i write it here answer 1 h so where is the answer here see minus 8 roman 4 and the answer is minus 8 so all the mcqs are done from the workout portion agar video acha lage to video ko like karo share karo aur subscribe karna mat bhuliyega milte hain aur ek acche naye content ke sath तब तक के लिए बाय बाय